We're going to take a look at the VeloCloud SD-WAN administration and status pages and see the information it can give us about our networks. We log in. You can see all the locations in our VeloCloud account. I'm going to select Toronto. The first page gives us an overview of our connection status, bandwidth usage by top applications, categories, operating systems, and sources. Under link status at the top, we see our internet connections and the IP addresses. I can see the measured bandwidth and the current throughput. Note that we did not populate the ISP names or the bandwidth. VeloCloud automatically recognizes these. The Quality of Experience tab, or QOE, shows us the performance on the individual circuits and the corrections the VeloCloud has made to give us an overall quality of experience score. As you can see, the connection on the bottom is not performing up to par. As I hover over the timeline, I see information related to why this link is showing in yellow. Here, we're showing 49 milliseconds of downstream latency, and over here in the red, we've got jitter judged as critical at 31 milliseconds. We're pulling a voice filter, and that's why we've decided that 31 milliseconds of jitter is critical. I can swap to a transactional filter, and we can see that transactional applications are going to have a much better experience over this circuit. The view here is set to 24 hours. I can drag the mouse over a time period of interest and zoom in. This gives us a better idea of the exact time we are having our issue. The transport tab gives us insight as to the steering and traffic flows over both internet connections. I can show an overlay of both connections or I can select one or the other. When I click the link, it gives us insight as to which path our applications are taking. Most of it is going over the path that we showed as green. However, we do have some SD-WAN traffic and correction traffic going over this link. Looks like it's time to call the carrier and start a trouble ticket as this link is being underutilized due to the poor quality. The Applications tab gives us a view into application categories and the specific applications that are traveling over our network. Here we can see that Apple is the top category. I can untick that to remove it from my graph, and I can click on it to get more information about the traffic. Here I can see the top device using this application, as well as the application destinations. The Sources tab shows our top sources and how much traffic they are generating in the selected time period. I can unselect individual sources to remove them from the graph. I can click on the link and show these sources, their top applications, and their top destinations. Here we're showing by domain. I can also filter by fully qualified domain name or the destination IP address. Destinations tab shows us where our traffic is going. I can uncheck a destination, remove it from the graph. When I click on the link, I can see all of our top destinations, what applications are going there, and what devices are sending this traffic. The Business Priority tab shows us our traffic based on the business priority that has been classified to the applications. Here we can see bytes received, bytes sent. This has been a brief look at the VeloCloud administration and status interface.